how to use advanced filters in Excel to help us to filter our data set. So let's say I want to see everything that contains a bag as the packaging type and also everything that has the cost greater than $30. If I click on the filter button, Excel is going to automatically filter and show only the data that corresponding to those criteria. I can add more criteria to, let's say, condition fresh, enter, filter, and one more time, Excel is going to match the criteria that I'm using with my data set. And if I click on the button clear, Excel is going to restore my data set. To get started, let's go to our data set and take a look. Here, I have different columns and different rows. A, B, C, then E, and also many, many different rows. It doesn't matter, okay, the size of your data set, if it has more rows or more columns than mine, because it's going to work perfectly. What we need to do is we need to open some space in between the data set and the top of Excel uh, because this is where we are going to create the filter or the header to the filter. So let me select the first, second and third row and then right click insert to make sure we can include here some blank rows. Now. I want to select the first and second row of my data set and then copy and paste using Ctrl C and Ctrl V to do so. Ctrl C, click on the first cell, Ctrl V. But why is that? Because it's a easier and faster way to make sure we have the same formatting and also the same names because it's, it's very important. The name that we are using to the filters needs to match with the names that we have within our headers okay they, they need to be the same let me get rid of the second row informations delete because i don't need to use them right now and uh, just to do some statics here i want to select the first and second row apply borders and the header, I can change the fill color to a dark gray and the font to white, like this. Let's say I want to filter the data based on the condition. I want to see every, everything that is fresh and I want to see coupled with the fresh condition the cost that is going to be everything that is greater than $30. So those are my criteria. Fresh condition and the cost greater than $30. How can I filter my data set based on those two criteria? I can use the advanced filter in Excel. And to do so, we can do it manually. That I'm going to show you right now. How can we do it? And then we can apply some automations too. Instead of step by step, every time, over and over again, do the same process, we automate those tasks, okay? Uh, so here we go. Click anywhere within the data set like this, and then we can go to the data tab. All the way here to the right, we can find advanced. Within this new window, we can check for the list range that is basically our data set and make sure that you use a larger range of rows because let's say of course it's taking the the fourth row up to the row number 100 now exactly i have 100 rows however in the future i might have more rows so what we can do is instead of using just 100 rows maybe i can use 10,000 rows just to make sure we take a larger range. The criteria range is very simple. I can click in this up arrow and then select my entire header, including the first and second row, down arrow. And what Excel is going to do is, it's going to compare the criteria that I have here and match with the names that I have in the same column. 
And uh, the same is going to be applied to all the other columns that I have. Now let me click OK. And we're done. As you guys can see, all the costs are greater than third because this is the criteria that I specify it. And also the condition is uh, meeting the condition within the data set. Now to clear or to erase the filter, we can go to data and then clear. That's it. However, instead of manually do all the time those steps, I want to create a macro in Excel. To do so, we can go to the developer tab. And if you do not have the developer tab enabled, you can go to the home tab and in any blank spot, you can right click and, do, and then go to customize the ribbon. Within this new window, you can, instead of use popular commands, you can go to all tabs. Here we can find developer, we can click add and then okay. Simple as that. This is how we can add the developer tab in Excel. If you go all the way here to the left, we can uh, start with record macro. This is the button that we need to use, the tool. The first tool that I want to uh, set, uh, or sorry, macro, is going to be the filter. I can just give a simple name, okay, such as filter. If you are using a larger name, such as to filter data set, let's say, you cannot use a space to separate the words uh, because Excel is not going to allow you to do. So instead of use space, you can use some underscores like I'm doing here. Okay, that's it. Now, all the clicks that I do here is going to be recorded and saved within my macro. And then we can run those steps automatically. So let me go to data. And of course, I don't need to click on the data set because it's already selected, okay? However, just to make sure, I can click uh, on the first cell, A4, like this. Data, data advanced, okay, advanced. This is the tool that I wanna use. And again, make sure you are using the correct range. A4 is the starting point and the ending point is not E100. It's going to be E10,000. The criteria range is right. A1 to E2. Yeah, it's perfect. And then okay. Simple as that. The data is already sorted. Now we can stop the macro. We can go to developer. Stop recording. Now we can create another macro that is to clear the filter. So record clear filter. And one more time, make sure instead of use space to separate the words, we couple them together with underscore. Okay. Now, simply I want to click on cell A4, data, clear, developer, stop record. Very, very simple to do. Now, instead of every time go to developer tab, find macros, and then try to figure out what is the macro that I want to run. Instead, let me close this panel. I want to insert some shape that uh, can look like a rectangle. Let's say I can click, hold and drag to make the area. And those rectangles are going to be responsible to filter or clear the filter. This one here to the left is going to filter. Let me copy and paste, cop and paste. Put another one here to, to the right. This one here, let me use the arrow keys to move a little bit to the right. It's going to be responsible to clear and then uh, and, and filter. Uh, double click in the first one, one, two. I want to type in filter, select everything. In, on the home tab, I want to increase the font size. Put in bold, center, 
horizontally and vertically and change the fill color to green the other one i want to do something similar however this one is going to clear let me select everything put in bold increase the font size and center horizontally and vertically the fill color this time is going to be a orange one like this but if i click on the filter nothing is going to happen because i need to sign the macros to the buttons and how can i possibly do it i need to right click in any button let's say filter and then assign macro and i need to properly select the macro to match uh, with the action of the button so let's say filter is going to be the to filter data set okay and clear right click assign macro clear filter okay again yeah i done so let me make sure it's work filter yeah clear okay uh now let's try something different here condition i want to look for ripe delivery fee i want to check for something greater than ten dollars the cost i want to see everything fruit description i want to check only for bags ones so bag and the date can be anything so filter oh there's nothing with those criteria oh by the way i made a mistake here because there's no such bag uh as fruit in in the description column of course there is some cells that contains the bag word however bag is not a fruit itself it's not a a name that is exactly within the cell so to include something part of something what i can do is i can use asterisk before the word and asterisk after the word because this is going to tell excel look here filter so excel now is including all the words that have bag within it okay such as mango 15 pieces bag so this is how we can use this advanced filter in excel in a practical way i hope this video can help you out and do not forget if you want to save this excel file it's very important to change the extension and use excel enabled macro workbook okay so you can go to file and then click on save as you can click on browse you can give it a name doesn't matter the name however what is crucial is going to be the type you need to use xlsm to save this excel file okay and to properly uh, store the macros within this workbook